tell you, I had so much caffeine on yeah, me. Let me slide back because we got to. Uh, Yeshaya. I mean, no, no, no. Jeremiah. 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 I've been watching your videos, man. What are you two? Hey, y'all crazy. Yeah, kind of crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's your channel, bro, so I can, you know, I know when you... Um, Everlasting Mercy 144. Okay, I remember that. I be comment. Yeah, yeah, so when I, you know, at least I got a face to it. Yeah. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth. Who will teach you all much diligence, peace, love, and salutation to you all the black men and brothers for all that read on this word in sincerity and in truth, patiently waiting for the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who is at the door, okay, nearer than what we believe. All these signs of his, of his return is right here. So we, we just going to get right into it, you know, because prophecy is speaking. You know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So everything that he said, the earthquakes, the, the rumors of wars, the pestilences, the uproars of the people, is happening. You know, so Lord willing, this is an edifying uh, uh, church this Saturday. We all here in uh, Palm, 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 California, you know, if, if you out there, Black brothers and sisters who are in the, in the cities, they're right, come out and get fed. Yeah. You know, it, it's right. that time. The scriptures say it, it's, it's high time to wake out of sleep. That's right, right. You know, matter of fact, we get that and then we get uh, edges. Right. You know, because it's time to get out of here, man. It's time to get out of that that deep sleep that our people are in, man. Right. You know, because being in it, being asleep in this place is going to get you caught up. Right. You know, being caught up in the ways of America, being caught up in these bread and circuses and not seeing the Lord's judgment is going to get you caught up, you know? Right, bro. It's a Romans chapter 11, verse 13. No, 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 it's 13 and 11. Yeah. It's Romans chapter 13, verse 11. It says, in that, knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Right, the, the Israelites, uh, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, the elect, our salvation is nearer than what we believe. That's right, right. Man. We about to get out of here, man. America's about to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Yep. Okay, and these people on the side only have a way out. You right. other nations, you're about to partake in that. That's okay, right, America's about to be overthrown. America's about to be invaded, okay? America is going to default on its debt. That's going to uh, be a new uh, cash in society. Yeah. We in those times. So it's time to, 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 to get out of that, that, that sleep. You see? Uh, it says the night is far spent. Right, the night is far spent. This world, you know? This this dark place. What's the end of this place? Missiles, you know? This, this place is far spent. Keep going on. It says the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Right. The kingdom, man. Right? The kingdom is at hand, man. And we're the children of light. And we we are the kingdom. You know? And it's about to we're about to physically get a kingdom too, man. But it starts with the gathering of, of the kingdom, which are the Israelites. Okay, starting with this knowledge, this faith, this word. Alright, this wine, this water, this bread. You know? Yeah. Yep. It says, let us therefore. Cast off the works of darkness. The works of darkness. What are the works of darkness? Committing adultery, stealing, killing, murdering. You know, those are the things that we're supposed to put off in this world. That's right, bro. You know, because those that do those things is going to partake in the lake of fire. Yeah. You know, yeah. You, yeah. Do, you do those things, you're going to partake in the missiles, man. Yeah. You got it, huh? And let us put on the armor of light. This word. Right? Put on Yahweh Shai, which is the light of every man that cometh into this world. That's right, bro. This is the armor of light. This is what we put on. Right? We're putting on wisdom. 
which is our clothing. Yeah. You know, we, we're taking out that sackcloth, that morning state that we was in, that the prophecy spoke about us, that we were going to be in. We're yeah. taking those clothings off, man. Yeah, we're putting man. on the garment of praise now. Yeah. You know, this yeah. wisdom that's making our people to shine again, man. Yeah, right. we, we was out here dusty. Yeah. Without Yahweh by Shimia was shot. But now we got that oil. We, we got that glow back. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, you know, we, we, we got the wine. You know, we, we got the bridegroom, you yeah. know? Yeah. I, yeah. You got it, brother. Yeah. This is Isaiah 52 and 1. It says, awake, awake, put on thy strength, right. Zion. Awake, wake, meaning to rise up out of, out, of, out of your dead state, man. That's right, right. Bro. You know, come out of this world, man. This 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 world will have you in a coma, man. Yeah, Until the missiles drop, man. And destroy, have you in a strong delusion. That you will believe a lie. America is a lie, man. That's right. You know, the, the things that has to offer college, you know, uh, businesses, it's all a lie, man. Yeah. In order to make it here, you gotta, you gotta be a thief. Yeah. You know, you gotta know how to supplant another person to, to get up in society, man. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of kingdom is that? Yeah. You know? You gotta be a Edomite. You gotta turn you, you gotta transform mentally into an Edomite if you wanna make it. Like all these celebrities, uh, the secret things they gotta do behind the scenes just for all that money and that and that fame. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. They gotta give up their morals, man. Yeah. You know, they no longer can speak up for what they think is right. You know? Yeah. Now they gotta push the devil's agenda, man. That's right. Compromising their integrity. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're not compromising our integrity. You know? We're not compromising it. Yeah. It says, um, it says, awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments. That's right, Zion. Zion uh, meaning lion. Right. We are the most high's remembrance. Okay? We, we are the most high's remembrance, man. The most high remembered us, giving us his son, the Holy Spirit. Right. You know, the Lord put us back on, man. Yeah. Brought us out of this dead state, man. Just think about how you was before you got this word, man. You were all, you were on a route to death, man. You know? You were doing everything that the Lord was not cool with. Yeah, bro. You, the scripture said you were a natural child of disobedience. Yeah, so yeah, you'll be breaking the Most High's laws, and all hell will be being put on you. You didn't know why. The children of wrath, huh? Right. You, you just, all this hell you catching, but when you, when the, when the Lord brings you in his truth, you're like, oh, wow. No wonder why I was catching so much hell. Yeah. You know? Figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah. It says, put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. Right, the holy city, the, the separated city, you know? The one that, 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 with their with their ways, this is their heathenous ways, man. Right, right. You know, we're not going to be tainted with the ways of the uncircumcised anymore. Yeah. Eating what they desire yeah. for, you know. We're not, we're not going to be tampered with any of that anymore. Right? Like um, we were talking about, uh, I think in a lesson, there's a dude who got a tattoo. You seen it? And he got he got season four shear, but it's a hand going down to his hand, and he got it like it like it's a hole in his arm right here. So it look like it's the Lord getting crucified on his arm. But I bring that out because we ain't gonna be getting no dumbass tattoos no more that Jake love to get. Right. Jake's somewhere getting a tattoo right now. Right now. Right. It's to the point that Jake don't even care about um work. They they face it. They're they're gonna get tattoos all over their face and then go go to a job interview, man. Right. Yeah. That's a that's a heathenous custom wearing hats. Yeah, wearing fucking you know, covering your head. Covering your head. You, yeah, you're, you're making yourself an image of this world. That's right, when bro. You, when you mourn your body with all those uh, inks, yeah. you know the Lord don't want you to be marked up. Yeah. You know with all those. Oh, this this is my mom. You know yeah. right here. The Lord. What's the point of that? Yeah, the point. What's the, you are the image of the Most High. He said, "Thou shalt not yeah. make any cuttings nor markings upon thy flesh." We're the temple of the Lord. Right. You know, he ain't gonna have some man in here all type of marks on his flesh. That's crazy. You know, we gotta be changed, brothers. You know, we, we, 
you know, we tasted this world. We in these bodies, we had got tattoos, but we didn't get them no more. Yeah, we ain't get once we figured out that right. that wasn't what the Lord wanted us to do. We ain't getting them no more. Right. Because it, like the brother said, the most I gave you a beautiful set of skin. Yeah. Gave you, some, and you could you could be looking like a damn uh, one of you. You got a heathen skin. You got peace on skin. But the Lord gave you a brown skin. You know, brethren from whatever shades of brown. And Jake, you know, they they fucking uh, un unappreciative, bro. I'm grateful, bro. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Right. Babylon the Great, this is not our rest. The so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, this ain't your rest. You gotta wake up and go to work every morning. Every day. You know? Every, every day. The scripture said about us and the curses that we wouldn't have no rest of the soles of our feet. Yeah. Who does that apply to? Who waking up and keeping this key to going? You, the tribes, man. Yeah. Let, let Instacar stop working. It's, yeah. it's over. You know, this, this whole kingdom will fall, man. That's right, you know? That's right. I asked. No, but, no, but, no, but, no, but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just seen an old map of um of the United States and um what, what used to be a part of Mexico. It wasn't just California, but it was Utah. It yeah. went from, uh, to Seattle. Texas, Seattle. All that was Issacar yeah. land. Yeah. And now, and now Issacar on the um he on the back of 50th and 108th selling fruits you know because that's the only way he could get his money right. and i've been in i've been to court you know for a traffic ticket and i see them instruments that be way back there they in court too because they got a ticket for doing that over there right. selling fruit they got a ticket for it right so that's not your press yeah you know jay you gotta you gotta hey you gotta work under under the table that's yeah. why i gotta work under the table, under the table bro. to make ends meet man yeah so you don't have any rest here catch a strike but don't get three you're Whoa, done you, you can't you saw it's not you're not gonna get up in his society yeah. he said you was gonna be the tail man bro you always gonna be the yeah, no. man, you ain't gonna make it man yeah. Yeah. that three strikes law that was put from jake man why, why who that was, uh, was that person uh, that was it biden no 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 it was uh reagan reagan Biden was aiding in it. He was basically oh, pushing yeah. the same energy at the same time. Right, right. Yeah. You know? It was a big yeah, yeah. In, in that time. Right. Yeah. You know? And Kamala Harris ass was throwing you jakes right in jail, oh, giving you yeah. football numbers. Yeah. 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 For petty minor crimes. Right now, yeah, bro, we gotta work. Right, you gotta work, but in this world, you gotta work for the Lord. 
floor. Yep. Right. You know, you got to render into seasons. You got to render into your hot wash and your shot. Yeah. So we got to work. Bro, you got to live like an American. Yeah. It's a burden to live like an American, especially being an Israelite man, because the society was built around keeping you down. So you work in and stay down. That's why at the end of the day, you still, you, you get done doing all what you did at work, you get your paycheck, and you still behind. You don't never catch up on it. I don't know any really Jake that all their bills is paid. They they got everything, they, like they're, they're square and they're right at zero with everything. That shit is almost impossible for a Jake. He dealing with something, he got a ticket he dealing with, he got a bill he behind on. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He suck at the GPS. He he hiding at their house in a garage. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Straight up, man. Until he get his shit right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Because he saw what he did. He did this bitch ass. He didn't mic. He didn't put a tracker in your car. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't even find it, you know? Yeah. You ain't finding that tracker. Nope. <laughs> That's what he saw, man. Loops. Loops and holes we gotta get. Being pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field. Right, in this world, right? We in Israel been scattered amongst the four corners of the world. Keep going. Yeah. It says, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. Right. There thou shalt be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee yeah. from the hand of thine enemies. Right, yeah. which happened in the old Babylon, right? We was able to go back and rebuild, right? Under, I believe it was under Cyrus. He gave us the, uh, the, uh, the golf shoes to go build up back in the temple. Yeah. But now a second time, we got to give up on the show. Yeah. It says, it's that last one. Yeah, it's that last one. It oh, says, I think you said second. Now it's the third, the third temple. Right. Well, yeah, that, I'm sorry if you said that was the second temple. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. And thou shalt dwell in the field, and, and thou shalt even thou shalt go even to Babylon. Yeah. There shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. That's, that's where we at. Babylon the Great, man. Yeah, bro. Rome 2.0. The, the Pope's daily moon was here. We, we back, we back in Rome again, man. The spirits is back here. You know, the spirits is back in the lot. The, the righteous and the wicked. You know, yeah. we, we back at it again, you yeah. know? Yeah, dealing with the same Edomite. You know, I've been watching this show called The Chosen. I don't know if y'all has been on it lately, but I'm gonna say it again on Netflix, there's a show called The Chosen. And in that mug, in the, in the show, it, it like going in depth of the, the apostle's life. Oh, 
Tranquilizer. Tranquilizer that could put down like three, I think he said three horses. That's how strong that fucking tranquilizer is. And they're just they're getting high off that shit, bro. Right now. They're getting high and they call that they call that shit uh they call it trank. That's what it's called. It's called trank, bro. Trank your ass right before the heavy You know that high up when you wake up the Lord there. My son.
know, catching hell from your wife, catching hell from your job, catching hell on your on your body, you know? Whatever type of uh, narrow position you may be in to prevent you to get to that city. You know? This place right here, this is the this is the land of lust. You know, it's going it's set all your different type of temptations and and uh, your desire stuff is everywhere. From the restaurants you go in to when you just click on the internet over here. So there's easy accessible wickedness everywhere. So a lot of our temptations just come because it's it's just readily available everywhere. You know? And you can burn your ass up yeah. or it can drown. Salvation with fear and trembling. Right. You know, whether brothers is around or not around, you gotta get it for your own brother, sister. Right. You know, you 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 gotta get it while the getting is good. Yeah. You know, going back to uh, the path being so small that you can only only one man can walk it by himself. You know, that's basically you know working out your own salvation yes. with yeah. fear and trembling. You know, every person you know has to have their own relationship with the Alvashim Yahushai. Everybody got to say that uh, every man gonna have to stand before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai to see what he did according to his works, whether they be good or bad. Everywhere. Hey, bro. 
everywhere you turn, they there. You know? Yeah, man. It said, and so that day come upon you unawares. You know, keeping your eyes single. Like the Shai said. You know what I'm saying? Spiritual tunnel vision, knowing the mission. You know, we ain't got time to, to get caught up like We ain't got time to get caught up with nothing, man. You know? It says, it says, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. And that's what you see. You in the spirit, you see that the day of the Lord is going to catch a lot of people off guard. They're going to be caught out here and not knowing what. You know? Because why? What are they into? Like the brother was saying, they're into the bread and circus. You know, the NBA playoffs getting ready to start. The, the Super Bowl was just over. You saw how, 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 how the people were so engulfed in the football season. Whole goddamn basketball season has been the talk of LeBron. Who's better, LeBron or Jordan? You know what I'm saying? You got all these different distractions. Now the playoffs is coming. That's how you know these people are going to be caught in the snare. Yeah. Just like when 2020 happened, they was getting ready to play a game. Yeah, yeah, and they shut the whole game down. And they stopped it. You know what I'm saying? They stopped it in the midst of before they threw the tip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Before they even got the jump ball, they stopped the game and motherfuckers had to leave and go home. Yeah, cancel the season. See, but this time, it ain't gonna be no leaving and going home. You're gonna be fucked up out there. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna be for real. Yeah. Remember, they even, for sure, they don't care about this society no more. They even stopped the children from going to school. Yeah, yeah. because they know it's a, it's a goddamn food system. Yep. Take the, your children go to school to be to to be uh dominized, if that's the word. <laughs> right. To be stupefied. Yeah. That's what your that's what your children go to school for. They go to school to be stupid. Yeah, they become a damn perpetual slave. Yeah. That's what Esau uh send your children to school for, man. He teach them how to obey him. You know, and not the most high. Yeah, that's, that's right. exactly what it is, because that's that's where a lot of our our bad habits came from dealing with the experience of school. Yeah, because that's what grew, that's what grew us. That's what grew us. Our parents did it because while they were at work, where were we at? School and school. Sports. You know, you know what I'm saying? At the school, you were in the sports program. Right. Bro, used to, I remember going through all type of mental things of, you know, just experience. And you, you at that point, you set your morals of what you're going to do, what you're going to accept, what you ain't going to accept. You don't, you're not coached the scriptures is to, to tell you, no, nah, that ain't how you think on that, or that, that ain't how you deal with that situation, you know? Yeah. Who, who was it that said, uh, George, I think it was George Carlin, he said, yeah. we don't want a nation of, 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 of thinkers, well, obedient workers, yeah. Yeah. workers you know? or ask my question, you know? because the scriptures even say uh, uh, a man that is occupied in the yoke, uh, he's yeah. always yeah. laboring, yeah. how can a man get wisdom? If you saw and it's got you constantly working at school, getting indoctrinated, how are you going to find out about the truth? Unless you know about Shimmy Alba Shai with the spirit on you. And you did that. Yeah. Apostle the Heart went out. He found it. You know? One of the men, just an example. Yeah. yeah. That's right, man. Yeah, I'm back with uh, verse 36. says, watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy, all right? That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man, right? This is what we're doing this for, man. Because we, just as these people are getting ready to get caught up out here, we're going to be out here while they're being caught up, but at the same time, we're going to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be it's gonna be our faith that's gonna get us through this thing. That's right. gonna keep us stable. Yeah. You know? Well, that's, yeah, that's beautiful because just simply knowing that you being tested by the Lord, that's like now now you freed in your mind, unlike these other people, they gonna know what the hell to look for, what's gonna happen next one to them. Are they gonna die? Am I gonna be dead by tomorrow? Am I gonna be dead by the end of this night? That's going to be going through all their mind and stuff, but we don't be free in our mind and that stability of the time that the moment we know. Hey. You know? That was good, brother. That was good, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I like one. <laughs> like, like, like Edgar said, like the angel told Edgar, so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I did, right? <laughs> Solitary confinement in our minds. Yeah. In our minds. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know? that solitary confinement is, is uh, they yeah. put people in there to, so they can examine themselves. Right. We're the prisoners of hope, man. Locked up, waiting for your hour shot to break us out of here, man. We're prisoners of hope. So we got a chance, man. Right. We're not prison in our mind. Oh, we're going to die. I got enough food. All that worldly worries, man. The, the moral thoughts. We don't, those things don't worry us a little the comforter comfort us when those thoughts, those multitude of thoughts start coming up, like worrying about this one. So that's when the Lord steps in. Because the, that's the fleshly matters, man. That's the flesh. That's the, that's the affairs of this life. Wow, wow bro. Man, I'm over here thinking about how, like you're saying, we, like basically, be prisoners of hope, in solitary confinement, like the scripture saying, being solo, you know? Which I was, I was explaining how they put you in there so you can examine yourself. And I remember looking up why they make the walls white. And the reason why they paint the walls white is so that you can be in a process of thinking. That's what it does. You only can do nothing but think. So, man, we sitting here examining ourselves in the spirit of the Lord and prisoners are hoping till he come and make us free. Freaking man, it's beautiful, man. That's right. Yeah, I got that, um, got that, uh, this is, um, this is, uh, the definition of a full heart. It goes back to the strong G2553, and it says to suffer, endure evils. Hey, man, endure evils, you know, from, from Shatan and his ministers, you know, whatever it may be, brothers know the experience, you know, if you know the depths and length of this dude, you know, a saint. You know, whatever he throws at you, whatever type of evil it may be, you don't even know why. But hey, it just it just happens. Uh, Job said men are born into trouble and sparks go up with them. You're born for it, man. You just gotta get through it. You are already appointed unto these uh, afflictions. 
Christians, like Paul told the church of Thessalonica, you were appointed unto these things. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you got to get through it. You it's going to make your mind stronger. It's going to make your mind stronger, man. Those, those adversities that the Lord brings. There's a quote. I, I forgot the guy's name. I think it was Seneca. He said, uh, Yeah, bro. Oh, <laughs> come on, man. So the whole world is laughing at, at Babylon, man. Yeah. You know? 
chapter 1 verse 23 it says a patient man will tear for it a patient man damn i think this is wrong bro he was tearing that's for a good one too yeah that's yeah. a good one what is it it says man see i gotta this happens yeah they, they be messing up man so I mean, they, they, this yeah a patient man with a door for yeah bear right. yeah they got tear so that's just a typo it says a patient man will bear for a time and at the word, joy shall spring up unto him. Right. And patient means to suffer. We gotta, we gotta bear this moment of being here, man. Right. The Lord told us, in your patience, possess you your souls. You know, so we, we just gotta wait, man. Wait ye upon the Lord till I'll rise unto the prayer. Don't take it upon yourself, you mad for a little bit. You might take out a few. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> we trying to take out the, the we trying to take out everything. Y'all was trying, trying to take all crowns, man. Yeah, bro. And you ain't gonna take it by knocking out a few Edomites because you're mad. Yeah, we gotta wait on your hard wash and y'all I say that, you know, because yeah. you know, oppression make a wise man mad, man. You wanna but we gotta wait, man. Yeah. We don't have no problem. No problem. The only problem we have is what we're doing now. You know, we can prove in the Bible that we are these people that's gonna be redeemed. And, and the savior of the Bible was strictly for us, our people. That's the power we have. That's why when Edomites or whatever nation, even Jake come up, we hit them with this word and it, and it, and it destroys their spirit, man. You know? They don't want to deal with the book. That's the power we have now. We don't have the power to take over a, 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 a nation. You know what I'm saying? We just have the power of prophecy. Right, man? And that's why we have to wait on Yahweh's child. Wait ye upon me until I rise up to you know, because y'all, when y'all was trying to get here, that's when the scripture says we're going to love his appearance. Because everything that he told us to do, we've been doing, we've been prophesying, and when it's made manifest, we're going to love that man to the point to where you can't even fathom the feeling you're going to have, man. You know, it's going to be the biggest we told you so ever. That's right. Second Nedra chapter 14, verse 14. It says, Let go from thee, mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of men. Put off now the weak nature. Right. Which is your everyday walk experiences you have in your life, man. That, that, that weak mess that try to pull you out from you bearing your cross, man. To make you just want to drop the cross, give up. Ah, oh, man. Fight that affliction, man. Uh, what's that scripture in Psalm? There be many afflictions unto the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of the all. But man, the Lord, you can't chill, man. You know, you, we can't chill. But the Lord, He's taking us out of the all, man, and, and strengthening us while we in that hill. You know, these our people, they they, they want to decorate their hill. Man. You know, they want to run from hell. They want to sell out, make their hill comfortable. But we going straight head up, man. Fuck you. Lord, you appointed us to pay bills. We gotta catch on ourselves because we broke your laws and we trying to get it back, man. You know? We're we trying to get it back right. You know? We fucked up. We, 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 we tired, Lord. You know, these curses suck. You know? Now we getting it right. I got one. Uh, this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 1. Um, I'm gonna start at. Uh, Simon 
Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of the Most High and our Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right? Because what we've obtained is, is faith, man. And that was all, that was given to us. But nothing we did prior to us uh, learning this knowledge in order for us to gain that faith. It was a gift that was given, and that's in uh, Ephesians, the second chapter. That's a gift from on high, man. You don't get no better than that gift. All right? It says, verse 2, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of our power and of Yahweh Shai, our Lord. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. We had that. When we were outside of this knowledge, we didn't. We thought we did. But he has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, man. The, the majority of our people don't have that. You know, they could say, uh, 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 We'll say, uh, uh, I got God in my heart. Right. They, they ain't got it, man. They truly don't have it. No, you, you can have a grandmother. Your grandmother, she could go to church. She's been going to church for 40 years. And you bring out these scriptures to her, she'll, she'll tell you Satan is on you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They're serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they, the, the world don't got what we got, man. Right. It says, uh, according to according as his divine power have given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. The key, the key thing to him who has called us. We've been called by way of the prophets, man. We heard the voice of the Lord pertaining to John and Tim chapter. Saying we heard the voice. The voice is out there for everybody to hear, but everybody can't hear it because the most high have shut ears, man. And your ears were open to the voice. You know? Yeah. It says, uh Standing out for 
subjective, prominent, high, figuratively, uh, uh, distinguished. You got that movie that came out back in the day, uh, Distinguished Gentleman. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we above everybody else. We're, we're distinguished out here, man. You know, it, it, like I said, it don't, it don't seem like it now, but the Lord's going to make it so. Right. You know? Mm. Why, how you think seven women going to take hold of one man? Because we're going to be imminent. We're going to be prominent. We're going to be the prominent men out here. When that time comes, man, we're going to be standing out. And this is the beginning of it. This knowledge that we have. Lord so it says, Examination, 
you know, when you examine yourself, the scriptures say, if you judge yourselves, uh, you will not be judged with the world. So, it's like a blessing to be able to do that, man. Even though it, you, you examine yourself, you start scrutinizing yourself, you find all your faults and the things you do wrong, and, and it, it don't feel good, but it's like, at least I could, I'm checking it, though. Right. You're no longer moving in so-called beast mode. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how a beast move. A yeah, beast right. move just on instinct. Right, right. They don't examine shit. You know? And man, man, especially the Israelite man, the Israelite man is not supposed to move like that. You know, our king, King David, was a prime example of that, man. He didn't just move. You know what I'm saying? He did things in the spirit, man. You know? And he took heed to certain things in the spirit. You know, we went into uh, that story, the story, the history of Abigail. Yeah. You know, he took heed to the spirit when Abigail came to him. He didn't just, all right, he said, bet, that's the spirit of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? He took heed to the spirit when Simei was cussing him out. Yeah. When his man was like, man, let me go take his head off. I'm trying to curse you. He said, nah, that's the spirit of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord told him to come curse, Lord told him to come curse me. You know? Because if he was moving like a beast, Shimei would have been going right then and there. Yeah. But King David waited, and then he gave the order to his son to catch that nigga that was throwing rocks at me, <laughs> bro, and talking shit it? to me, That's and put crazy. that nigga to death, man. He remembered that on his deathbed of all things. Yep. That was one of the best. And like when you on your deathbed, you you like right here with the spirit world. So you and you and you, you especially in the spirit of the Lord, you right there, man. So you ain't giving no bullshit orders. You know? You actually setting your house in order, like yeah. the scriptures tell you to, man. You know? So, <clears throat> like the brother was saying, even upon your bed, we are, we are no longer reprobates. We don't just do shit. Maybe think of this guy, Brandon T. 
Jackson that just encountered the brothers in the San Fernando Valley. But what, what he did do, he praised Kanye. He tried to praise Kanye West in front of the brothers, but at the same time rejecting the words from the brothers. Yeah, because he ain't been called. Yeah, right. he ain't been called. You can't hear what, you couldn't hear what them brothers were talking about, but you praise Kanye, right. and Kanye ain't talking about nothing. Right. It's, it's, what do you mean? It's John A. Where, that where it says, and the world receiveth me not. Uh, I come you know, unto man. the world, and the world receiveth me not. Well, I don't, I'm not sure. I, I, I can look it up. Can look yeah, up. Because, because he's of the world. You know, Brandon T. Jackson. Right. That's why he's trying to praise Kanye. Yeah. That's why they that's why he couldn't receive the brothers down there, man. Right. Uh, it was San Fernando Valley. Yeah. You know, he couldn't receive them because they, they of the world. He is of the world, man. Right. Yeah. And they yeah, see man. us like his head. They see us as poor men. Right. Yeah, you right. can say a rich man, they, they'll listen to a rich man, but when exactly. a, a poor man say, who is this dude on the corner that's right. talking about the, the rich truth? Man but the, when a rich man say, oh, we saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 we going in. We going in the depth. With right. it. We, yeah. we going, going into it. These niggas are the same. They be the blood of Christ. Yeah, right. We is what I mean. They ain't going deep, man. They ain't even tapping. 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 And the scriptures tell you the Lord have chosen the, uh, the poor of this world rich in faith. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? He didn't choose a nigga that's rich in this world but poor in faith. He chose the poor of this world and are rich in faith, man. Okay? It takes faith to come out here to the streets. You know what I'm saying? To, 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 to the Bible, man. And make yourself look foolish. Cause that's what we look. We look goddamn foolish. The scriptures tell you that this is the foolishness of preaching, right. and this is how the most high is going to save them who want to be saved through the foolishness of preaching. Yeah, right, bro. It says humility uh, before honor. I got. I, I think I found. I found one at least. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. This is uh, John five forty three. It says, "I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not." If any shall come in his own name, him will he receive. Yeah, they receive Kanye and all these other guys. They don't receive us that come in the name of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Right, right, and we're coming with their words because the, the words of the Lord is harsh. The words of the Lord cut you to your soul. That's right. It don't feel good when you're wicked. Right. No, you know, no. When you're wicked and you ain't trying to correct yourself, that don't feel good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
That's why he, that's the whole thing about the blaspheme of yeah, the Holy that, that Spirit. Was, right? That's his prayer, yeah. 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 Total rejection. Because they was, they was like, hold up, nigga. Yo, this is them. Yeah. yeah. Talking to y'all and what, what you doing? Yeah. You, yeah. you a warlock, you a witch? Yeah. And all he been doing is teaching Yahweh, the yeah. Most High. Yeah, right. Telling you about the Most High. I come in my Father's name. Yeah, yeah. right. He mentioned in Abraham, he ain't mentioned no other gods. Right. But these niggas were jealous, man. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Remember he said also, he said, of which, of which sin, he said, in some kind of words, I'm like, whatever sin I'm doing, keep me on it. And no right. man had nothing to say. Right. So then, you pulling this man up on charges, but he's not doing nothing against the most high. How was he then a warlock? Right. You know? How does that work? That's the work. They would just like that one. St. John. I got St. John right there. Where you at? St. John. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. This is St. John chapter 1. I start at verse 10. It says, He was in the world, and the world was made by him. The world meaning uh, uh, us. Matter of fact, first look up that word real quick. I'm, I'm guessing it's St. John. Heaven knows. Because he was amongst, you know, he was amongst his people. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely, that's what it is. Uh, that's a, yeah, one of the cops. Uh, John. Yeah, which is ethno. That's for sure. Uh, uh, well, no, I'm sorry, you know what I mean? Ethno is Gentile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you Cosmos you is basically the same yeah. con concept yeah. and arrangement. arrangement of his people, so to speak, the Israelites, okay, that's what that means, go ahead, he was in the world, and the world was made by him, uh -huh. and the world knew him not, the world knew him not, so when, when these people come, like like the brother mentioned Brandon T. Jackson, he was one of those that knew not Yahweh Shai, because he was in the midst of Yahweh Shai's service, you know, which right there was Voice was right there. He couldn't. He couldn't hear it because he's not of the Lord's sheep. Yeah. You know, just because a nigga wrapped something around his head, nigga broke dreads. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Learn a little scripture. That don't mean he's of Yahweh's side sheep, man. Right. I think the dude think he King David, bro. Well, it's all kind of niggas that think they King David, man. All these niggas coming out the woodwork some day. None of you niggas is safe, man. Right. None of you, man. If you came there, you ain't even got to say it. Other people will say it. Just like when it happens. Right. You know? He didn't have to say it. Other, other men was, was saying that he was that. Yeah, that's what he did. When Yahweh was on the, uh, when he went before a private, he said, uh, thou king of the Jews? Mm -hmm. yeah. He didn't have to say it. Right. He said, thou said it. Thou said <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You thou said it. Say it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he, 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 you can see, you can, that ain't no white man, man. Yeah, bro. Y'all was side was never no goddamn white boy, man. Remember Pilate, remember the wicked scholar Pharisee told Pilate to not write that he's the king of the Jews, but that he said, he said, he was and the spirit of the Lord had that motherfucker said, he when said, I wrote, I wrote what I have written, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead, do it to him. <laughs> Verse 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. That's right. When we go out here to the streets, we out here to our own, like the other side was, man. And they don't receive us. Okay? Like Brandon G. Jackson. He rolled up on them brothers. Yeah, bro. And I will guarantee you when he seen them, he thought. Oh, yeah, the they can love me, man. I'm Brandon T. No, my name is Dawid. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't this because, because coming out of that, that world, man, like, I don't know if y'all remember when we was on Hollywood Boulevard years ago, and Ray J rolled up. Oh, you know, pity ass nigga. He rolled up. He thought he was shit. He thought we was going crazy. Yeah. He was like, hey man, that's Ray J. He was like, he had his bag and she's like, yeah, we don't got Get your little punk ass out of here. He had a, he had a weak ass eating mic with caked up makeup on her face. Yeah. But these celebrities, 
Yeah. They so used to being worshipped, man. <laughs> you ain't finna worship that nigga and show that type of homage, nigga. Yeah, right. Fuck you. That's right. I 
wouldn't say it's the best, but it's a it's a good trilogy to that series. You know what I'm saying? Because it, 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 it went perfect with the whole storyline from one. Yeah, that's right. what it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was just, nice it was just a perfect yeah. trilogy. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Yeah, the world knoweth us, know us not because it don't know Yahweh Shah. That's why Brandon T couldn't get it. Right. That's why the majority of our people can't get it. That's why when you first give it, you try to give it to your mother or your father, you try to give it to your siblings, your, your cousins, your best friend, they can't get it because it wasn't given to them because they didn't know Yahweh Shah in the past. Yeah. Right. You know? You gotta have a spirit with anything. You gotta have a like if a wicked dude trying to get a man to steal or to rob and kill for him. There's people that that have spirits that that that, that can do that. Yeah. And just yeah. jump into that spirit and be like, all right, let's go. Yeah. There's there's certain spirits that you're trying to get to uh to go to be feminine, and they cool. They like hell no, I ain't shit. You ain't put me in no dress like uh Z uh. He was like, nah, they tried to put me in a damn dress. He didn't have that spirit, man. So you gotta have a certain spirit. You gotta have a spirit for the truth. You got a spirit to, to, to be a wicked ass nigga, to be a homosexual, you know, to be a adulterer. That, that's a certain spirit. And those are seducing spirits. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this is the only thing to combat it. It's true. Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. See, it don't, it, don't, it don't appear yet. Right now, how we shall be, it don't appear yet. But when we out here doing things, and the Lord uh, provide miracles for us, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be just, just as when, when the outside uh, was crucified, that earthquake happened. Roman soldier says, surely this man was the son of God. Right? And the people are going to be like, surely the most highest with the most men. Because again, we're going to stand out. We're going to be eminent, prominent. We're going to be on high above everybody. Then shall we know who are my elect. That's right. Yeah. It's going to be made manifest, to be made known. It's going to be made known. It ain't going to be no guessing, man. Scripture say that people shall be willing in the day they come. Wow. Wow. That's how the women gonna come. Cause they ain't gonna wanna catch hell. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know a woman, boy, they'll get up under anything, anything, bro. To uh for, for, for refuge. They have one eye and one tooth. They gonna got that refuge, she gonna be on here. Yeah. They gonna know we uh we're stable. They're gonna be like, damn, he, he don't look shook like the rest of them motherfuckers. You know, there's something about him. I actually see a glow. Like, let me try to see, you know what I'm saying? Hey, like, they got two sisters to hold on. Jake, Jake used to be in the camp. Y'all went to the comedy show. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying, man. I guess it is true. Wow. Yeah. You know, dude, yeah, y'all do look like y'all got a glow. About What's it, wow. Wasn't wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wow. a man that used to be with us. Yeah. Yeah. Used to be in the, the camp. That's wow. what I said, bro. So now that he outside the camp, he looking in and he like, whoa, it is shining. Man, he has you know what's crazy is the comedians, they even commented on us. Yeah. It's like, man, what y'all, uh, what y'all, a singing group or something? Yeah. 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 Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot on he gets that little stump yeah, and shit. Yeah, stump. You know, the light was right on us and shit. You know? <laughs> Maybe the girl in the back, she yelled, yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, yeah. And when, when he said, uh, who is, who is these guys? When they said that, all the ladies was like, whoa! Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, but the street of the Lord, man. That was it, first job? Yeah, uh, it's actually still What? Right. It says, but love, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. That's right, man. I mean, we're going we, we gonna to see him as he is, meaning two, 
we're going to know everything he knows. So we're going to see him as he, as he truly is. So as he is, as he know everything and, you know, all power, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to be in that same light, that same spirit, knowing all things, having all power, and, and, and being just like our big brother, Yahweh. That's right, man. And when he, when he comes, we're going to be as he is, meaning we're going to know what he's about to do. What you right. about to do? We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna be like, oh, UFO. Yeah, right. Nah, we gonna be cool. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. We gonna know what the Lord is, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. We, we gonna, gonna know what's bro. happening, man. Yeah. We ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be no second guessing. We ain't right. going for something. Right. Right. This hope in him purified himself even as he is pure. Yeah. Every man that has hope in him purified himself man. even as he is pure. Because Yahweh Shai is the purifier. Ain't that what we, one of the words we read in the definition earlier? Yeah. Yeah. What the word, uh, what word was that I looked up? Virtue. Virtue. Yeah. Yeah. In 2 Peter 1. Virtue. Alright. Now we have been called into uh, glory and virtue. You know what I'm saying? Damn, damn. And one of the words was purity, man. Yeah. Uh, the thy servants love the truth. I mean, thy servants uh, love the truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, that's yeah. our glory. That's our. That's what we like to play with. We like to have pleasure with women, man. That's that's a that's a man's delight. You know what I'm saying? A real man don't, he don't want to play no goddamn sports. But they play sports to get the big checks for what? Yeah. So they can get the girl. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Right. That's what they do it for. Many have run out of their wits for women. We understand it, man. We understand how powerful that woman is, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the scripture tell you the beauty of a woman changes the countenance, and the man uh, uh, loves nothing more, man. So we understand that. That's why when you see a beautiful woman, you take a double take. But now that we understand, it's like, yeah, but no, not right now.
know, the house is on fire. Oh shit, we gotta get out of here, man. Or, you know, we, we got a sense of urgency about us. We not slept to the Lord's calling, man. Right, bro. So our eyes have been made up. Yeah. Yeah, because you know these, these, these different stories, they have spiritual representations behind it. Now we, like I said, that guy uh, was blind from his birth. When you come into the on the side, you, you, you you're not born into knowing you the uh, you an Israelite, you blind. It's, yep, and then it, it, it tell you that um, the Lord said, uh, you know, the disciples asked who sinned, and it said, nobody, nobody sinned, but that the works of the Heavenly Father may be manifested. So even dealing with us, the Most High brought us out of that blindness so that the, His works can be manifested. That's right, man. That's right. That's 100% correct. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yep, it's, it, let me keep on going. It says, uh, I must work the works yeah, of Salaki. That's why he's so afraid, man. Yes, sir. That's beautiful. You said that, that's Revelation 11, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. real life game, too. Yeah. Yeah. The same thing that he saw going back to uh, Willie Lynch's letter, he said, unless there's a, a, a great phenomenon that occurs, they will never break out of this. Uh, Disciple. Yep. <laughs> that great phenomenon occurred. That's right, right, bro. Yeah, yeah. It says, uh, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. Night cometh for no man's work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. And when he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and anointed the eyes of the blind men with the clay. And said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, Siloam which is being interpreted, sent. He's, he went his way, therefore, and washed and came, seen. The neighbors thereof, and they which before had seen him, that he was blind, said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. It says, therefore, said they unto him, How were thy eyes open? And he answered and said, A man that is called Yahweh Shai made clay and anointed my eyes. And I and said unto me, Go to the pool of Solomon and wash. And I went and washed and I received sight. Hey, hey we've been watched. Yep. Yeah, bro. This word. Yeah. We've been, man, this word, man, our eyes to see. Yeah, that's right. that uh, Psalm 19. So they uh, uh, making a uh, simple wise and light, enlightening the eyes, something like the law, enlightening the eyes. Mm -hmm. Like when they put it like this, when we in the kingdom, we don't even have to put a pickle in those dirt and do what Yahweh did. We just be able to say, you know, hey, see. Yeah. 
back in John chapter 9, verse 12. It said, Then said they unto him, Where is he? He said, I know not. They brought, they brought to the Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. And it was the Sabbath day when Yahweh made the clay and opened his eyes. Then again, the Pharisees also asked him how, how he had received his sight. And said unto him, He put clay upon my eyes and washed, and I do see. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, This man is not of the Heavenly Father, because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Then said he, he first he asked the brother to stand up, 
He said, stand up in the midst of everybody. Then he turned to these niggas and said this. Then said Yahweh Shai unto them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good or to do evil? To save life or to destroy it? And looking around about them all, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he did so. And his hand was restored whole as the other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he got under their skin because I tell you, and they were filled with madness and communed <laughs> one with another what they might do to Yahweh Shah. Because he did that in front of everybody. He made them niggas look stupid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Skip said he looked around. Yeah.
that that drops him. You know, in NLT it said his legs were swollen. Yeah. That's, oh, that's so like that's gout. 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 Yeah. Gout. Jake, Jake, right now. Yeah. Is, is that what a Verse three. It says, yeah. "And Yahweh answering, spake unto the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day?" And they held their peace. And he took them and healed him and let him go. And really, those are demons, man. If you can't speak, that's a demon. Though, if you can't, you know. Uh, see, it's a demon on you. Yeah, it's a spirit. Those it's are not. spirits. Yeah, you know, you got spirit. The Lord got spirits for everything. Go make his ass, you know. Yeah, schizophrenia is a spirit of many spirits. Yeah. 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 Bread, but when you go in 
paper. Got all the topics for your pieces. It's, it's swine right, right there, man. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have pieces of swine in the chicken, man. Because they got they <laughs> come from so right, man. Right. <laughs> hey, you have some slick people, you you order a sandwich, right? And it might have a bacon. You would tell them, yeah, yeah, can you just uh, take the bacon off of it, man? Yeah, you know, thank you, man. You know, it come back and she got the bacon on. It's the same sandwich. It's like, oh, man, you want me to just take, I just take, nah, man, I need a, I need a whole new sandwich, man. You know what I'm about? I just take the bacon off, man, just, you know. Nah, remake that whole sandwich, what you talking about? The juice is on. It's marinated in the bread and shit. Yeah, bro. Parasites. I can't wait to get in your body and shit. It says, the answer them saying, which of you shall have an ox? It's like an ass or an ox fallen into a pit. You will not straightway pull him out on the Sabbath day. Straightway, you hurry up. You know? Get him out. You know? You ain't gonna wait. Right. You know, while he's struggling, it could be a deep ass pit. You know, I'm like fucking on the verge of snapping his, you know, yeah, snapping snap something. something. It could be a rainy day. Yeah. And, and he only got a certain amount of time before yeah, his ass drank. Right? Yeah. But it's Remember that apocalypto? Yeah. When it was in that little pit? Oh, yeah. You know? But it's the Sabbath, though. Don't pull him up. Yeah, right. You know? Yeah, that's true. You, you got to it it's, it's a loss, dog. It's a loss. But this is what you see. This is your bread that you make a living off of, yeah. you know? Right. Yeah, bro.
Yeah, one shot. You can make the uh, eight five. You know, Jake wanted Jake wanted to rob the eight jack. Yeah. Amos eight and five. Amos 84, hear this, O oh, ye that swallow up the needy, even to make the poor of the land to fail. Saying, when will the new moon be gone that we shall sell corn? See, the new moon dictates the Sabbath. That's when you started the first day. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's when the new moon comes in. So when you don't start, you don't see that little toenail. And then, you know, it's, and then it'll get bigger. And then by the, by the middle, you'll have a, a full moon. That's why the Passover is uh, kept on the 14th day. Right? And that's the yeah, full right. And that's why. Oh, okay. So, I, I, the spirit told me he was, yeah. he was trying to 
muscle. So wow. I checked my, uh, I checked my, uh, because I had money on cash out. Right. You know, you could check that right away when it come out. I was like, bro, it's just saying right here that the money is in. Then he tried to act like he was on the phone to his dispatch. That's how Jake get out, man. They always trying to get over, man. You know, and it's right here in the scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? Always trying to get you, man. That shit gonna change in the kingdom. Yeah, right. That's what Esau told Jacob. It's not his man. Right there, Jacob. Yeah. You know, I done got fucking uh, scared. Uh, you know, I done got scared. You know, I done got fucking scared. It ain't making you mad when they get you, man. Bro, Jacob came out to me and shit with some gold and shit. I was like, I'm cool, man. I'm cool. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm just real. Town. Yeah, he was like, no, it's real. I was like, all right, follow me to the car then. Because I had a man. Yeah, I put the man in. And I was like, you know, I was like, uh, okay, that motherfucker ain't sticking. That was one of the ways, but he could still get gone because he could be uh, 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 grass. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that's all it was. He shined the fuck out of that grass where it looked like go ahead. I was like, all right, it was only 30 bucks, but still, though, when I got to the house, my neck was itching and shit. Yeah, I, had I had bumps. That quick, I was like, this motherfucker. <laughs> I went to the pawn shop, see if that, I was like, can you check? He was like, yeah, man, that shit's fake, man. I was like, this motherfucker. Damn. That's why I'm hard enough to check, bro. Yeah, you check, you, you look sideways. Jake walked around here like 10 chains on his head. I bought a car from Jake. I can't. Yeah, I remember that one. This motherfucker, the whole head was cracked. And what he did, he poured, he poured that uh, solution in the uh, radiator. Because when you open it up, you see the little sparkly shits. So if you ever buy a car, open your radiator up. Open the radiator uh, reserve. And if it's those little sparkly shits that's, that you see, yeah, he put some shit in there to stop it from leaking. Yeah. Just so you could get it, and then like a week later, that motherfucker heating, overheating and shit. That's what was happening to me. And I was like, this motherfucker. But those, you know, those mistakes you learn. You know, yeah, you, you know, learn. You basically don't fuck with Jake when yeah. you come to find. Go, go to Esau, man. Yeah, right. Esau gonna give you some shit that works. Yeah. And then, uh, the one, like, you know, uh, something stick with a joint. So, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, so stick fast so between the joint. So, uh, Right. Ooh, man, that's a good yeah, yeah. See, the scriptures got the answers for everything, man. That's what 
you know, spirit, let me know that. So I was like, man, this motherfucker disconnected. I was like, that's the motherfucker that was working on this shit. Like, yeah, that's him. I'm like, yeah, that motherfucker disconnected too. Yeah, deep. Yeah, deep. Or they'll put paper. They'll put paper in your uh, spark plug connectors yeah. to where you won't uh, uh, get the spark. Yeah, you won't so your shit won't turn it over. Yeah, they got all type of little tricks, man. They got all type of tricks. You know, you, you know, mechanics are one of the most. I mean, you not not all. I ain't gonna speak for all mechanics, but majority of the motherfuckers, they they thinking how to get you, man. Especially you know? women, but when, they, when a woman roll up by herself, oh dude, yeah, uh, like dude, like dude, he was like, he was like, much, he was like, uh, she was like, you gonna pay, help me pay for the uh, the air? It was like what, two bucks? I got that. It was like damn, you so damn cheap. He was like, no, it costs a hundred dollars. He was like, a hundred. He was like, yeah, they told me pre they gave me premium air. No, oh, that was a prank that she did on her dude. Oh, oh, uh, uh, uh,
27 and 2, as a nail sticking fast between the joinings of the stones, so the sin stick close between buying and selling. Yeah, so you gotta be careful when you out here making your moves and spending your bread. Really, to tell you the truth, it's like you got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Lord. You can look everything up. You gotta look stuff up. You gotta don't just be going and stuff ignorant, or you may lose an extra dollars. Proverbs 14 and 15, the simple believeth every word, but the prudent men looking well to his going. That's why, you know, they say Google it. That's what I be doing, man. I, You know, whenever you're going through a problem, at least do a diagnostic in your own, with your own self, you know. A couple, a couple of prayers, like the brother said. Back in John 9 and 16, it says, Therefore, says some of the Pharisees, this man is not of the Heavenly Father, because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Others say, How can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? Right. They're like, How is he doing these things? And y'all call him a sinner. What's it? What's it? He's doing them in the name of the Father, too. Right. Yo. So there was a, a, a clear divide. Who believed in Yahweh Shai and who rejected it? Yeah. It says, and there was a division among them. They said unto the blind man again, <laughs> What says thou of him? That well, he's. Let's ask him, man. What'd he do? <laughs> again, so they're going to keep asking him. We got mad. We got mad. I told you. Man. Where she's at? Six step. It says, um, it says, they, they said unto the blind man again, What says thou of him that he hath opened thine eyes? He said, He is a prophet. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight until they called the parents of him that had received his sight. They were so mad, they were like, Man, go get his parents. Yeah, they they know they know everybody for murder. You got people in there, more than one witness that saying, he didn't have to because he right. them lights on and he got the right away. Right. Yeah, whoever was driving was gonna be smacked. Yeah, they did it too. In their own little world. That's why when, 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 when my wife was going she go off, I tell her, Pray, man. Prayer. And I say be be aware of him. Yeah. You know, you, you already know what you gotta do. Yeah. But you be aware of these drivers, because the drivers they they, they got demons on them. Yeah, man. Right, right, they, got right. demons. Right. The, the, they got demons on them. Yeah. Trust me, I see it daily. Yeah. These people have demons on them. Yeah. yeah. They got demons. Yeah. 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 You got his guns off. Yeah. It says, um, it says, and they asked them, saying, Is this your son? Who ye say was born blind? How did that he now see? His parents answered them and said, We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But what means he now seeth, we know not. Or who have opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age, ask him. <laughs> he's just he's he's speak for himself. Yeah, they were so in awe, and they wanted, they just wanted some type of conviction right. against Yahweh yeah, Shai. Yeah. When they just couldn't accept the truth. Going the extra mile, yeah. they know they didn't have to go this extra mile. Yeah. They just couldn't accept it. Yeah. 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 It says, these words spake his parents because they feared the Jews. And then they had that, that carnal fear on everybody, mm -hmm. right? Oh, That's what they had, that carnal fear, like it's not that righteous fear. 
you know, to go against a person who like, I think you've been a fear group. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 any type yeah. of niggas ain't whooping you. Yeah. yeah. They beat you in front of everybody. Yeah. 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 Whooping, bro. As these words make his parents because they feared the Jews. For the Jews had all had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was the anointing, he should be put out in the synagogue. See? So they had told the whole congregation, you can't come here if you if you if you believe in this dude. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You got guys doing that now. Yep. We got some window shoppers in here. Looking at them bump camps. You come in here and you looking at them bump camps. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what does it say though? It said uh, they rejected the, the cheap corner stone, in other words. Yeah. You know? Yep. It says, therefore said his parents, he is of age, ask him. Then again called they the man that was blind and said unto him, Give the heavenly father the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. He wasn't though. You know? Right. He was born, and that was like the, the whole point was he was born blind. And that's why they try to say he was that's why he blind he was a sinner. You know? Yeah, yeah. He was born. So give the most high the glory. The most high did get the glory. Yeah. Yeah, he did. You know huh? what I'm saying? By the hand of his son Yahweh that's the sole reason why he was born blind, so Yahweh Shah could do that. So the works of the Most High can be manifest. Yep. 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 It says, He answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. Then said they to him again, What did he What did he to thee? How he opened thy eyes. <laughs> he, <got mad. laughs> yeah, yeah. he said, he, he said, uh, he answered them, I have told you already, and ye did not hear. Wherefore will ye hear it again? Will, will ye be his disciples? Will you be his disciples? It said, then they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciple, but we are Moses' disciple. Yeah. So you can see how this this is like you, you niggas are getting, you niggas are getting called all up, but y'all still got this. So they, they resort to reviling against a meaning like they got mean at them. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like they turn into an asshole to the same guy they're trying to ask questions to. And then, and then like you know what I said, you supposed to believe for the very works sake. Yeah. 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 You don't believe me for my words. words. Believe, believe that the works that is being done. Right. But they were so stubborn jealous that they didn't even want to acknowledge the, 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 the spirit of the Most High was amongst them. So I'm not with Allah. God is with us. Because he was doing that those miracles right in the midst of them. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to they gonna say, uh, well, we are Moses' disciples. Well, Yahweh Shai, he came and he, 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 uh, he brought that new way that surpassed uh, the, the laws that was given to Moses. Yeah, you remember uh, that one? I oh, grabbed that one. Yeah, you grabbed it. Solid man. Yeah, he, he, he was in a synagogue. He opened up. That was the first uh, uh, Isaiah 61. That's the first uh, prophecy he read of himself. You know, this this day is this uh, scripture. in 17 it said for the law was given by Moses but grace and truth came by Yahweh Shai man Yahweh Shai did something better than what right. Moses did we need a grace yeah. chapter 5 verse 45 it said do not think that I will accuse you to the father 
that was going there to do even Moses, in whom you trust. They don't even know that Moses didn't talk to Gish to me.
he, the scriptures tell you that he made himself of, of no public reputation. They was ready to make him king. And he had to dip out of there, man. He was held off. You know what I'm saying? He disappeared on their ass. Came in right on a donkey. That's a great old thing. You know what I'm saying? That's like riding in the little bucket. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? It was like, because we were in slavery under the Romans right at the point. That was shot was in the same predicament that we were in. That's all of us were. You know what I'm saying? Because that's 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 how the king is supposed to operate, man. If all my people ain't got it, I don't want it. That's, how, that's, that's the mind of a true king, man. The mind of a true king wants to liberate all of his people. Like King Solomon, bro. But King Solomon had it. Everybody had it. Everybody had it. That's why when you see the thought the door, man, was him. She made it. Yeah. Pop, knock, you know what I'm door, man. All of us. All of us. You see his people suffering. That's why he his uh his anger got the best of him. Remember he, and he put that motherfucking Egyptian <laughs> down. And then a yeah. nigga gonna tell him and a nigga yeah. told him, what you gonna do, Moses? Yeah. You gonna kill me <laughs> too? <laughs> like you did the Egyptian. Bro, Jake, Jake, I know he wants to man. I know he wants to fuck that Jake up this day, man. Especially them. They ain't out there. I mean, you don't see no street speakers. 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see nothing but the classroom. That's, that's it. That's right. it. They're in there. I had a dream about that. The, uh, the True Nation Israelites. It was like we were downtown Los Angeles, and it was like we was holding that side camp we were at. Remember I told you? And uh, some some girls, from, for some reason it was from my gym though, but they was they were um, they walking up. These are the girls from the gym, right? But they find and shit. They come up, they try to, they like kind of like prancing like women, like oh what's going on? It's a party. And I'm like kid, the spirit. I'm like nah, this ain't no uh, party or nothing like that. She said, oh y'all boring. She hits the corner. The true, the, I look around the corner, it's the niggas that's in the house. Uh, I ain't gonna call them niggas. Two nation dudes. Burgundy, they wear the burgundy. They wear the burgundy. Man. They, they go over there, they accept the, the girls, and they all over there just chilling and posting, and we just over there holding camera. I'm just looking from afar, like, yeah, them there, they, they, I remember in the, in the dream, it's like, nah, they ain't got it, you know? Yeah, they still in the world. <laughs> These guys are finna be all in LA, all of, doing all of that. I mean, it was around them because women are attracted to things that perish. Uh, They're right. attracted to things that shiny and look good for men, but then it's going, it's, it's just going to die out. You need to think about it, man. They, they, women are attracted to shit that just will just vanish away. You know, like a nigga, a car, uh, uh, money, whatever it is. They look good for a moment. But then it just vanishes. You know? They always say they want a real man. Well shit. Hey, you go to every state and you and, and you roll down the, the right street, you can find a, a group of real men. But well, they, the, the thing is they intimidate by it. Yeah. Oh, because they can't control us they like you like you control exactly. the weak ass exactly. men. That's so why, called, as you were saying that, I was remembering downtown. I don't know if y'all remember, but it was this, you know, good-looking Israelite woman. When we, were, when we were doing the salute, she stood there and she started waving herself. She was like, wow, that's power. She kept walking. Wow. She was like, that's real power right there. But she couldn't, it wasn't nothing for her to do. You know what I'm saying? She couldn't, she would have been in slavery to one of the brothers, because they ain't, ain't no woman controlling us, man. Yeah, right, right. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when they, they, they not really ready for it, really. Like, because we ain't us, we ain't dealing with the bullshit. Exactly. Uh, that, 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 that lesson, I was, man, I put that lesson together, that Prince Charming bullshit, man. Yeah. Man, you, you women, you really think it's some dark magical ass dude like that. That's because they, they, they got the mind of a 14 year old girl. Yeah. And he supposed to come in the, the she's in dire straits. The climax of the moment, this nigga pop out the fucking bush. Wait, 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 God, and you a woman to be elect. Yeah. And the Lord gonna have a, 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 a brother come get you out of your uh, dire straight yeah, like in Django. Oh, I was just about to say that. Yeah. Like in Django. Yeah, I was voting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, back in 1 John chapter 4, verse 10. It says, Hearing is love. Not that we love the most high, but that he loved us sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Yeah, that's another proof that the man loved the, loved the woman. It's, you know, we love the woman. The heavenly father loves us. We love the woman. Yeah, yeah, you know and how do we show our love to the heavenly father? Do as he said. Yeah, how is yeah. the woman supposed to show her love to us? The, the, the same way we show our love to us the most high. Do what he tells us.
It says, herein is love. Not that we love the Most High, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Look up that road from the Wait for that day, man. Right. The 
making everything right. So we're gonna be like, we're gonna be moving soon. That's why the scriptures say we're gonna be like sparks of moving stuff. But we want it that bad. We want it that bad. We want to bring crisis. So we gotta get rid of the uh the wickedness. You know, and, and to get rid, we're gonna be moving fast to get rid of the, the wickedness in this earth, man. You know, that's why I say it in one hour this place gonna be destroyed, man. That's right. People think that it, you know the kingdom of heaven just gonna fall out the sky and just run right. righteousness just like that. Right. Oh, to to establish it, we gotta we gotta we gotta set it up. Yeah. Right. Just like Esau set up America. Yeah. Well, yeah. He brought he brought he he put he put down the ways of the people right. and he put his ways up. Yeah. Well, that's how that's what's gonna happen, man. When King David and his mighty man. I'm sorry, you start to go back before that. Moses, with Joshua, we, when we was getting our land to establish our land, we had to bring the people out of here, man. We didn't give them a mix of notices. We gave them, uh, you know, we lullabied them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We evicted them from the planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> to, to bring uh, peace, you need more. Yeah. What were they doing in Atlanta Canyon? They were sacrificing the, 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 the children, and, you yeah. know? Making us like a mom, when, 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 when King David established his kingdom, he did it through the force of the sword, through the sword first. Yeah. But the Most High was with it. Yeah. You know? That's why Solomon was sitting on the throne for 40 years of peace. Yeah. No war was on, no, there was no war in the earth at that time because of what King David did. That's right. And that's what's going to happen all over again. The house of David going to put everybody down and your house side going to sit on this throne forever. That's right. And there will be no more wars in the earth. That's right, bro. Man. Yeah, I dropped that boy, bro. Yeah, yeah. We're going to read uh, the King James and the NLT. But Job was speaking in the spirit on the mediator before he even came. This is Job 9 and 32. He was prophesying. Yeah, he was prophesying. It says, For he is not a man as I am, that I should answer him, and we should come together in judgment. Neither is there any daysman betwixt us that, that might lay his hand upon us both. Let him take his rod away from me, and let not his fear terrify me. Then will I speak and, and not fear him, but it is not so with me. Now let me read that in the NLT. It says, The Heavenly Father is not a mortal man like me, so I could not work with him or take him to trial. If only there was a mediator between us, someone who could bring us together. Which is your house shot. Right. He brings us because who's who's? modern day Job, the elect, yeah. you know, we're the modern day Job, the word Job means hated, you know, we're, we're, we're uh, despised and disdained here in this society, man, you know, the off-scourers of, of, of our people, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says only, it says, if only there were a mediator between us, someone who could bring us together, the, media, the mediator could make the Heavenly Father stop beating me. And that's what, that's what Yahweh <laughs> did, man. <laughs> you know, he confessed the elect up there, and, you know, we, we knowing how to guide you this thing, man. Right, we ain't catching them ass workers like they catch them. The mediator, the mediator could make the heavenly father stop beating me, and I will no longer live in terror in his punishment. Then that's I could why, and that's why Yahweh's side is, is, is so important. What he did was so important. He said, So I will live in terror of his punishment. Because this whole thing is a punishment. It's a punishment. You know what I'm saying? But you don't see, you don't see us. Like Jake out there, Jake, man, Jake is in a bad, they don't even know how bad of a case they is, man. Man, Jake, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand, you know what I'm saying? All you got to do is, which is not, you only going to do it if you're the elect, is turn to Yahweh Shah. 
and, and it's gonna make it's gonna make this punishment a, 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 a lot more bearable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you, know, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. you understand why you in this situation now. Uh, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. it in uh book of Proverbs the scriptures say uh, the way of transgressions is hard? Yeah, yeah. you know, you just make it harder on yourself. Right, bro. You know? yep. It says, then I could speak to him without fear, but I cannot do that of my own strength. That's right, man. Because Jacob's going to try to pray to the most high, but your diet is all fucked up. Daily. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord ain't hearing your prayers. You, you can't even get your, 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 you can't get swine out of your diet. The Lord is not hearing a, 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 a man praying his prayer. Your prayer that can't get rid of swine, man. Yeah, yeah, man. That was easy, man. I'm, you know, I speak for myself. Uh, that but was, that's, so like, yeah. I want to just make that reference real quick. How I said it to make it more uh go back to that where it said uh in uh in, uh, uh, <clears throat> it won't, uh it, to be between us. No, keep reading. Uh, it says uh, if only there were a mediator between us, someone who could bring us together, the mediator could make the Heavenly Father stop beating me and I would no longer live in terror of his punishment, uh -huh. then I could speak to him without fear. Uh -huh. But I cannot do that of my own strength. Right, you can speak to the Most High without fear because you're doing that which is right, which is right in his eyes, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, that's good because I remember trying to bring up a scripture to a dude who's not really straddling the fence. I know what you say that, I know what you say that. He didn't want to hear it because Really, he ain't going right with the Lord. He's going right thing. He's cutting him because he didn't want to hear it. Yeah. He basically stopped you because yep. he didn't want to keep hearing it because it was cutting his spirit. Yeah, it was sure. cutting his and he was feeling all, damn, yeah, man, all right, man, I got, I heard, yeah, I, I got you. I know what I'm saying, you know, I know that I'm back and forth. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up, man? All right, so, Hey, when we came in the truth, we was all getting cut up. Man. Like, uh, like the Sublime Yatazak said, <laughs> the, the Bible is for the prophets, everybody else just got one. Yeah, yeah right. right. Yeah. Yeah. They just got one. They just got one. <laughs> and that's yeah. real talk. Yeah. 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 That's real in the book, bro. That's what I mean. I'm not going to get that shit. That's our weapon. That's our weapon. Yeah. Revelation 14, where it says, um, no man can learn that soul, but the 144,000. Yeah. And, 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 and then Wisdom of Solomon it tells us to put our feet in our fetters, in our necks, in our chains. Yeah. And then that those chains and those fetters will be, will be turned into a glorious robe, and it'll be weapons for you. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's why we fucking these women up, bro. We be fucking their minds up. But they just our presence. Let us just our presence, yeah. man. Just some presence around yeah. a woman, man. She she and she feels the presence that all day. I can't. Yeah. Man, you know she know. She we even got to tell her. She know how we act and how you know we put we uh uh what is that uh conduct our conduct or how we move. She'll know, like, damn, I can't, I can't, I can't just, I can't just do that with him. I'm right. feeling his spirit, like, he all steer. Damn, yeah, he ain't playing that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good to say it better. It's the churlishness of a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it's right. It's right. It's right. Then, uh, uh, yeah. uh, risk, uh, a man that's also a part of the man with wisdom. Yeah, let's get that. A man with wisdom. Barely smile, like, you know. Scared of scared. Scared of smile, yeah. Like, basically, we ain't with the games, man. All right? We ain't with the bull. We ain't with so the bull. So try that with us. Uh, and ultimately, it's the, it's, it's, it's the spirit of the Lord that's on us. Because if the woman deal with us, and she want to deal with us on a serious level, she's going to have to correct herself. Yeah. Yeah, like the women don't want to be corrected. Yeah, right. They don't want to yeah. be yeah. held accountable. And you found that one? Yeah. Better is it uh, Charles? Yeah, I got it right here. Right. Yeah, read it. It's a uh, SWAT 42 and, and um, 14. It says, better is the churlishness of a man than a courteous woman. Point and, blank. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Better is for a man to be churlish. Look up that word churlish. You know what I'm saying? Be manly, man. 